Hey, what's up, everybody? So I just picked up a couple of these Gotham Steel Pro Pans from Costco yesterday. Now, I wasn't going to do a product review on these, but after I used them a couple of times and saw how they worked, I thought, you know what? I am going to do a review on these pans. Now, the reason why I picked these up is because I formerly was using these Teflon non-stick all clad pans these are the the all clad very expensive pans these pans are you know a couple hundred dollars for all clad all clad very expensive i had these now for a couple of years and all clad advertises as a lifetime warranty well this non-stick surface is no longer non-stick so i opened up a, a complaint with all clad to see if they would uh, do a exchange and they said since it's not a manufacturer defect I had to send them some pictures and they said they would not replace these pans so very expensive these cost a couple hundred dollars for for these all clad non-stick pans so not very pleased with all clad so I picked up these cheaper pans from Costco didn't expect much did not expect much because these were two pans. It was like an eight inch and an 11 and a half inch pan. Here, it tells you right there. This is a, a 10 inch and a 11 and a half inch pan um, was $40. Now these also, these are ceramic. These are made with ceramic and titanium. It, they are induction. You can use them as induction or you can use them on a burner, which we are gonna do today because I do not have a induction burner, so we are gonna be using gas, a gas stove. And they are also PTFE free, PFOS free, and PFOA free, which I believe is chemicals that normally come in Teflon. And when Teflon becomes no longer non-stick, and when Teflon gets, you know, scratches in it, that's when they really give off them nasty chemicals. So and then it says here you can use them on a gas stove, electric stove, ceramic, um, induction, inside your oven, and dishwasher safe. Now, one thing that they do mention on the box is they recommend low heat to medium heat. Once you start cranking up that heat, that's when they possibly are going to start losing some of that non-stick effect because of overheating. And that's what All Clad told me. They said, oh, you overheated your pans. Well, these are frying pans. They're meant to fry with. That's why it's called a frying pan. So not very pleased. And they also say dishwasher safe. Now, they also indicate on the box and when you watch other uh, videos, they recommend not putting them in the dishwasher because the more you use them in a harsh dishwasher, because dishwashers are kind of harsh on your dishes, they may also start losing that non-stick effect. But let's waste no more time and let's show you how these pans perform. All right, so we got this pan on a sort of a medium heat. It's not all the way cranked up. It's sort of on a medium, a medium heat. And I also like this pan, you know, for how inexpensive these pans are. They come with a stainless steel handle. Really nice, really nice pan. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to fry an egg over easy and see just how nonstick this is with no oil, no fat, no butter, no oil of any kind. And then after that, we are going to do a... We are gonna fry up some cheese and see how easy it is to clean the cheese up. But here we go. We're gonna just drop this egg right there in there with no oil. And you're not gonna see any links in the description where to pick these up at. Of course, you, you can pick these up anywhere online, but this is not a sponsored video. So there's not gonna be any links in the description but I did pick these up at Costco. You can pick these up, you know, quite a number of places online if you do wish to pick these up. But uh, 
So we're going to let this cook just a little bit and we're going to see exactly how non-stick this is. Now there's going to be no editing of this part. So we're just going to let this thing cook just a little bit before we start. Now what I'm going to be using is a silicone spatula. They recommend you use either wood or silicone, no metal utensils, because once you start using metal, even though I believe they say you can use metal, but once you start using metal, then that's where you start to possibly start to scratch it up. And then once again, you're going to you lose some of that non-stick effects. And also they say you can use dishwashers, but they also recommend you do hand washing because the more you use a dishwasher you can lose some of that non-stick ability okay so let's start to loosen this up now keep in mind there is no oil so we're gonna have to loosen it up just a little bit before we flip it here we go okay well we broke the yolk just a tad but that's okay All right, we broke the yolk, but we are going to go ahead and flip that egg. Here we go. We flipped it. Now, where we have no oil, no butter. Now, if you put a little bit of butter or a little bit of fat in the pan, of course, you're going to have a much better experience. Of course, you're going to have much better flavor and taste. But just for demonstration purposes, just for this review, we are not using any oil. Now, if you just use a little, a little bit of butter, of course, it's going to work out much, much better. So, we are going to go ahead and take this off and see how easy it is to get this out. There you go. So, we got that out. We have a little bit of stuff stuck in there. So, basically, we're going to just wipe that out and of course I would recommend not doing this in a hot pan wiping this out like I am unless you use extreme caution while doing that now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a piece of cheese right there and we're going to see how easy it is to get that cheese unstuck this is a very good test because you know how hard it is once you bake and you start cooking with cheese. Cheese gets really stuck on these pans. So we're going to let that fry just for a little bit. And we're going to get that really stuck on there. Again, we're not going to do, I'm not going to pause this video and wait for this to get done because I don't want to make it look like I'm editing any part of this video out. This is a true, a true test to see how, how this pan performs as far as cleaning with, with this stuck on cheese. So we're going to let it go just for a, about another minute or a, a few more seconds just to make sure it's really stuck on there. All right. A little bit longer. That's right, probably good enough. See how it's got brown, browning all around the edges? Let's go ahead and see how this looks. Look at how easy that slides around. Look at that. Let's go ahead and flip it. Flip it over. Look how brown that cheese is. And then we're going to take a piece of a paper towel. Look at that. And it just slides, slides around like that. And then we're going to take a piece of a paper towel. Again, I wouldn't do this on a hot heat. 
but I'm going to do it just for demonstration purposes. And look at that. We fried an egg, and then we fried some cheese, and all we did was wipe it out with a paper towel. Really awesome. So I am really impressed with these pans. Now, how will they perform over, you know, time, six months to a year? I don't know. I've only had these now for two days. But since I have been cooking with these for the last couple of days, I have been very impressed. So let me know what you guys think in that comment section below. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Please like, comment. Thanks a lot, everyone.